Jason Howell. And, uh, oh, I'm sorry. Hold on. Oh, man. that uh, That's some sick little play in there. That wasn't actually me. Uh, or Unfortunately, I'm probably going to let you down with my own playing. But that is Amplitude UA, which is a, a guitar effects uh, app for Android. We don't see a whole lot of audio apps on Android because Android has historically had issues with audio processing for musicians. What's making this possible is this here. I'll go ahead and show you this. This is the iRig UA by uh, IK Multimedia. This is an audio interface designed for allowing you to play your guitar using your Android device. You can see I've got the guitar plug uh, plugged in at the very top there. Got some headphone out and a little volume knob for the headphones if you want to plug directly into there. This auxiliary input is so if you want to play along with a pre-recorded track, you can. You can ch channel it through there, and it'll mix in with the playing that you're doing. And then down at the bottom, this is a standard uh, USB, uh, micro USB output, uh, outputting to USB OTG or on the go. That's what's plugging in to the tablet here, and that's what's allowing me to play the guitar and have it be processed using Amplitude uh, UA. So the iRig UA, uh, it's pretty awesome, I, I have to say. Thankfully, what, what's happening here is all of the digital signal processing that's happening to kind of make these guitar sounds and all the effects and everything, that's happening inside this tiny little box. So we'll, we'll say it's a little hollow, um, the, the device itself, but it doesn't really need to be much more chunky than that. And really, honestly, it's all about portability anyways. So the lighter it is, the better. Um, and I found it to have pretty low noise, which is pretty pretty important when you're playing guitar. You don't want a lot of that noise to, to kind of come out. So I've been really happy with it. Um, so let's take a look at the Amplitude UA. This is the software that kind of comes for free with the device when you get it. You can see right up here, I have kind of some amp selections. When you install this app for free, you get a few of these uh, included. There's bass, if you have a bass guitar, and, you know, that kind of changes everything. Metal, which get the chugga chugga if you want. Uh, lead for... I'm not a very, very good lead player. That's why I can go over here and just go... See, now I'm kind of lifting the veil and you understand what you heard at the very beginning. I wish I could play like that, but it's just not my style. Uh, crunch, clean. You've got a few options right out of the gate, and that's going to get you started playing. You can also see here, I'll go ahead and play this because it's easier for me to do this. I can change the amp between a few different, or the cab between a few different options. You can also change the type of mic that you're using. Um, to to record these, uh, basically a condenser, a dynamic mic. Everything affects the sound in different ways and allows you to kind of zero in on a sound that you like. I found the sounds to, you know, they're, they're nice sounds overall to kind of get you started, but you soon, you quickly realize that uh, you want more. And thankfully, you have the ability to get more. They have an all-in bundle that is $69.99. So that'll that'll give you a bunch more amp and cab combinations here. This is the orange. You know, so it uh, doesn't sound too bad. You can see here what you see on the screen isn't all of the, the options. You can actually kind of swipe, swipe to the left and right. You can increase the middle, decrease the bass. You can shape the sound in all of these amps and cabs the way that you want. You want to turn it up, turn it down, increase the gain so that you get a little bit more of that, that distortion. We'll take it down. And uh, one thing, one thing, and I'll show you this because it's pretty easy to, to illustrate is when you're trying to go up and down on the interface, sometimes it still wants to move it. It's a little bit of a bummer. Hopefully they work on that user experience just a tiny little bit, but you pull down the gain and you get a little bit less of that distortion. You can get really deep with this app, and that's what I love. I actually have um, IK's Amplitude on my Mac. It's actually a part of the, the puzzle for when I was putting everyone together a few years back. Uh, it's definitely had a lot of guitar sounds from that software. So it's nice to have it in the mobile version. You can see here up at the very top, you have basically four spaces to work with. This first space, you can throw on some distortion, overdrive. They even have some wahs in here, which is kind of weird because you're doing wah with your fingers. So, you know, normally you'd be doing that with your foot. So I don't know how useful that is necessarily in a, from a performance perspective, but you have a lot of different ways that, you know, in like a nice compressor. 
to kind of get the sound just a little bit louder. Um, I could go even deeper and put a flander on here. And you can, you know, play with the depth and all that kind of stuff. All of these effects can be crafted and tailored to your own preference. Of course, the, uh, the amps and, and cabs, and then kind of like a final version. I've got a delay on there right now. I could change that. You know, put on a little a little reverb and and uh, dial it in entirely. If I want to save this preset, let's say I really like this, I'll go ahead and tap on presets. You get a few spots. I kind of wish you had more. You only have 15 spots, but I can tap and hold and then choose a name for that preset. And bam, I've saved it for my rocking performance, wherever that happens to be. One last thing I want to point out about the amps and cabs here is that they're all modeled after... Uh, the real thing. So you've got Ampeg for bass, you've got Fender for guitar, you've got Vox uh, for like a nice crunchy uh, sound. All of these are modeled from the real thing. So if you don't want to buy the wide assortment of actual, uh, you know, real uh, boxes to take up space in your place, you can emulate them through this. And because it's modeled, it really sounds close to the real thing. Very impressive stuff. Um, Really versatile and actually just a lot of fun to play around with. You throw on your headphones, you get lost in a world. Uh, it does come with a tuner built in, so, you know, you can activate that and it'll it'll take you to clean mode and you can kind of uh, try and tune your guitar that way. I didn't find it to be as accurate as my tuner at home, but it's nice to have it in a pinch uh, there. And then, of course, you want to wow all your friends. All you have to do is play a demo. <laughs> Oh, sorry. Yeah, see? Uh, it elevates your style of play. All you have to do is hit a button. So, all right. So, the uh, iRig UA is $99.99. Uh, and it does double as just a basic audio interface for your PC or Mac or Android 5.0 and above. Android 4.2 is required with uh, USB on the go in order to do what I'm doing right here. So $99.99 .99 has a lot of different uses for this hardware, uh, comes with the Amplitube UA, and then you have the optional upgrades inside the apps, uh, inside the app to kind of expand your horizons and open up the playing field with all of the different amps and cabs. And personally, as a guitar, a person who appreciates guitar, maybe I don't play as well as some of the demonstrations on here, but I find it a lot of fun to play with, and I highly recommend uh, iRig UA and Amplitude UA. You guys should check it out. Thank you for watching my review.